today we will cover a new topic uh, about design we will make a new layout our one subscriber suggests me create a new view for our cart if i go to cart hover and it will expand with a list of products which our cart have okay uh, for example like this if i click hover on shop link it will display some menu and if i will hover on cart it will display layout of our products which we saved in cart okay for that let's continue coding go to master your view of master and front folder yeah and here we will find cart here is my cart okay mm. let me check yeah here is our ally of cart okay and i will copy this one for our layout to display here uh, or we can use default bootstrap drop down uh, let me check if bootstrap giving us code for bootstrap bootstrap uh, drop down okay we need only drop down okay we need this okay uh, just expect and copy this ally I am copying from here outer and pasting here it is ally have a lots of data in we will remove that so don't worry let me increase brightness yeah little bit zoom let me test is it's working or not yeah it's working but it's open by default so we can hide it's open i think here okay Let's refresh if I click here it's opening now I will change this our actual data which we saved in cart okay uh, first of all go to any product add to cart okay now we have a one product in my cart and we'll change this static drop down to our dynamically code okay just remove this we don't need any more design and here I am making some design view okay for D6 if plus olmt 3 for image okay mm, one for merge so okay 
and here I will add a link for checkout okay let's close the link let me check how it's looking yeah it's looking okay okay but we have to make this more interesting okay mm, just go to again bootstrap it let me test this key grid generator i'm not try this before uh, let me try how it's working okay and if i want to add more then okay uh, this one for our image and this one for our name and this okay just try to copy this not just this one copy uh, let me replace with my code we will do again okay refresh looking okay but we don't need this yeah it's okay now add your image box um, image source will be dynamic please so don't worry In one first will be our name name of product and second will be our we need to display price and quantity okay price one is paragraph this and here quantity so let's see how it's looking we don't have any image so i am not giving source let me check this source copy image address ah, we don't need this plus image Save responsive okay uh, I think it will work no Mm, 
let me check in this this part here is our image if i increase its width yeah those 200 and we need only 50 and like also we don't need to mention height okay and the server two server three we need more data and create this six okay and this one for six it's okay and I think it's have a padding so remove this padding okay. that's nice bottom also we don't need any padding yeah okay If I say I don't need row then it look like this okay and here we can say uh, or here we can say uh, style our custom style adding as 10 pixel yeah it's okay and here left side okay light try to make in actual just go here we don't need any margin margin will be zero uh, yeah i think it's it's only will work and here is five i think five is okay and here is seven seven plus five fourteen and we don't need any row just remove this leave and ready Five is enough. Okay. It's our name, so name is so big for now. Just make it H four. Ah, it's looking nice. Okay, and we can. And create this width also top down I hope here width X width is here we can do this It's looking nice and go to your drop-down UI and make its width 300 uh, I think 300 is uh, 250 250 250 pixel okay. it's uh, showing error Character 250 not found. I don't know, but it will be work. Refresh. Not working. Okay, one more thing. Mm, go to this line. Put seven in line number seven. Okay, just go to here 
uh, where is it is it is team and our team is folder here css and put them in line number seven i think i can't see this but i can search and we can see there 160 min width okay uh, let me check yeah i think i am here min width equal to 160 yeah here 250 pixel and go to refresh it's nice and we're not affecting this drop down so it's uh, actually uh, very good news okay and if i increasing the my product let me say this is my product div and i will use loop and increasing this is working fine or not i think yeah it's working fine mm let me try to increase width more because in height is looking not nice uh, can modify this to according to our use minus okay and for top it's okay i think yeah mm, and float left not Adding. Mm. I think padding is very increasing so it's okay and it's our div and this is your extra part so just refresh try to find again drop down menu and sorry Go with the cursor, not mouse. Okay. Our padding is here, so go with zero to check how it's looking. Refresh. It's looking nice. Now you can go with your actual product names and detail page just go with your left refresh but check you are not affecting this drop down uh, this is nice we will replace this and data will be dynamically 
so let's go to back your php and here just replace this data but before that we need to remove extra divs and use only one div because we are making loop okay Pretty pixel for width show for image. I think okay. Yeah, it's okay. Same product we, which we have here. We try to display product names and data from. Oh, I'm not starting PHP, so that's why. Data from cart. For this, we have a query, simple query cart content. Okay, uh, which we use in our controllers. You can check there also. Our query is cart content. Okay, uh, this function have a our card content. Okay, now just save into any name of variable and start a loop. I am using a blade. So you can choose PHP tag also. I am using both. Cut B and our div is closing here and and for each mm, let me show you first name to confirm I am fetching right product or not cut B here name array have a name of name product refresh mm -hmm. check drop down yeah it's now working okay and change this to it is AMD, I hope so. It's or not. No, I think OMD. I forget. I will check in controller. Ah, let me check in controller. What is name of we are passing our cart. There is our cart. Oh, sorry, cart controller is different. Uh, this is line we are and it's our image name. Okay, I think it will really work, but for now, just display price name to price and quantity yeah, forget what is quantity quantity always our one so just you can display uh, statically two let me check i think we have not image quantities for uh, one and price is 45 is okay but 
I have no image. Mm. Sources not works because let me display it like that. Because we are choosing this, that's why the page which print tower it will be work. Okay, now you can see here is your image. Okay. But I, I am displaying here. I think it's need one more data. Just go to uh, one more array. I mean array. Just go to cut index and check this. Mm. Yeah, we need to add options here options okay because we are passing into option data and not on card controller we are put as a option that's why we need option it works just comments this printer to display array just refresh yeah you have a product name price and quantity just try to update your cart check quantity is not increasing because we are not displaying like that we can display but first we have to add more data let's go to electronic any any mm, category check drop down you have two products check in cut yeah now you can use same as your cut okay and here is your quantity cut atoms uh, just close this CSS also here let me check its work refresh yeah it's our for quantity and price is 45 now you can use a anchor tag for uh, displaying checkout and show total for total we display this 209 for that just go to master where you are using this just copy your total and display here add a class full right let me check how it's work looking yeah it's total mm make a little bit more interesting margin uh, 5 pixel okay 5 pixel and right here not bracket this time total more bracket and total Mm. color green only for this one use pen style 
color color green not forget to close tag of span refresh is total 209 that's nice now show cart quantity and change the name of drop down with this cart use your icon We don't need this icon, okay? And your count will be here. Uh, remove cart also because we have a count a uh, cart icon. Refresh. If if any user click here it can see this okay for now just comment this because i don't need this for now because i change this with our drop down it was advised by our one subscriber that's why i created you can change this design as you you want i am not uh, spending more time on uh, uh, designing that's why mm, here add a link to check out okay check out Give a class class btn btn uh, primary uh, i think it will be orange if i click here it's going up because we are not using any div For dynamically just this is our data and I am using comments for uh, understanding. You can use plate, table, anything. Okay. Uh, for checkout, and I need one more thing. Div class. Sorry class so here i will choose two divs column d six and pull left for this but mm. copy yeah we need for our cart here you can choose view cart and info change the color of your 
button you have two buttons but it's not looking nice because we need to spend more time on design but i am not spending because video will be increased time that's why and we are displaying total now we need one more this type of total but this time is left left and cart icon paragraph of this mm. here count okay mm. here use this refresh now check you have cow and total count two buttons buttons not looking nice because we not making it right just remove the glass and make your own button you have to use your own button adding this learn more css uh, i am good in css so don't worry you will learn about designing also uh, and background color will be blue this time i am using blue this one blue okay and refresh yeah it's nice same for this just change the background color nothing else move the bootstrap class use your own css okay and here i will choose no suggestion don't worry uh, orange orange will be match with your theme okay ah it's nice mm. for row you can say style margin margin for top and pixel okay refresh margin is not working i don't think so this will be work i think it's because this type of data so don't worry use important I am not uh, try to destroy bootstrap CSS so just forget and add even more VR for now uh, yes so 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 uh, let me try here my ally refresh no 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 guys not use like this refresh you have five count and one more thing bootstrap targets Okay, just do this. For your this count span, where is? Mm, 
yeah here span is total same for in the loop where you are displaying count ah, here refresh I am trying to refresh to see your beautiful budget I don't need for total I need for this okay I'm not using for this only count and this one and closing refresh it's checkout it's view it's count five because four is here just increase here update yeah we have fun for this fun for this refresh yeah mm, go to home view cut and for checkout so check out everything is working Okay guys, see you in the next video. Give your feedback in comments. Thank you.